Hi all. So in this topic, we'll be studying about the numerical on exponential smoothing. Like in the last video, we had seen about what is the concept of exponential smoothing. Now we'll be studying about a numerical based on that numerical smoothing. So here is an example where a company uses exponential smoothing method with smoothing coefficient equal to 0 0.2 to 4 forecast demand which is 0 0.2 or the value of alpha is 0 0.2 the forecast for the first week of january was 400 units whereas actual demand turned out to be 450 units we need to find out the forecast the demand for the second week of january so the values of first week are given we need to find out the values of the second week by assuming that the actual demand during the second week of january turns out to be 460 units and based upon the demands up to February 3rd week, assuming the subsequent demands as 465, 434, 420, 488, and 462 units. So based upon these five values, we have to find out the actual demand during the second week of January, which is given as 460 units. We have to find out the forecast for the February 3rd week. Hence, the solution is We'll just as arrange each of the month or each of the values which are given where the demand was given as 450 460 465 434 and february 1st 2nd and 3rd as 420 498 and 462 and based upon the forecast values or based upon the forecast which is given which are 400 and the forecast error the difference between this old forecast or demand and old forecast that value is dt minus ft which is forecast error and when that is multiplied with exponential smoothing then we'll be getting the corrected value which is coming to be 10 in the first case and based upon that we can find out the forecast new forecast which is 410 old forecast was 400 but the new forecast is coming to be 410 in the same manner for the second one we are having when we put this new forecast value or the forecast value which we are having 410 and we find out the forecast error correction and the new forecast it is it comes around 420 in the same manner when we find out for the third third week it comes to be 429 when we find out the fourth week it comes to be 430 for february 1st we get that is 420 mind it we are having a negative value over here since the old forecast value and the demand there is a difference of 10 units in the negative place so if we have that negative phase also we'll first find out the values and then we'll put the modulus to get the final value to be in positive term based upon that we are having for the february second week to be 442 and february third week to be 446 this is what is the entire value of the forecast which we are obtaining hence the values of new forecast are for january first week 410 so for January 2nd it is 420, for January 3rd it is 429, for January 4th week it is 430, February 1st week 428, February 2nd 442 and February 3rd week 446 which is what we, we were asked to find out. Hence this is how the problems on exponential smoothing is being found out. Thank you.